For this week's video, I made a list of all of the drive throughs that I'm gonna hit in the next 100 hours. We're gonna be splitting this up into four categories. Unhealthy items, banned items, family-sized meals, and then we're gonna go get my stomach pumped. I'm just kidding, hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's get started. We're at McDonald's. I literally rolled out of bed to get here. McDonald's doesn't serve breakfast all day. So the average calorie intake for a person is 2,500 calories a day, and our goal is to go way over that. So let's eat some breakfast. So McDonald's has something called a big breakfast with hotcakes and it is 1300 calories. Breakfast alone, we are almost at the average calorie intake for a person, but that's that's the goal today. Hi, can I get the big breakfast with hotcakes? I don't normally eat breakfast, so this is already like a huge deal for me. Hello. Hi, thank you. Have a good day. I'm eating the most calories today. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you. The hardest part about this video is definitely going to be going through the drive throughs because I don't know how to drive. The bag is hot. Like, it's burning my leg right now. So when they said it was breakfast with hotcakes, I think they meant it's just breakfast and hot. But this breakfast comes with hash browns, eggs, biscuits, pancakes, and bacon, and a ton of butter and syrup. This is like every breakfast food in one meal. No wonder it's a lot of calories. All right, we're going to start with the pancakes. Okay, McDonald's hash browns are supposedly really, really good. So let's try this. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna give this a 10. Just this, the breakfast, I'm gonna give it like a four. We're only at breakfast and I know that today is probably gonna be one of the hardest days in the 100 hours because I'm just gonna be eating a ton all day and it's this is dry. So I'm gonna wash it down with my Starbucks. Don't tell anyone I have that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, McDonald's Big Breakfast Deluxe kinda killed me. So we're gonna go home, get ready, maybe use the bathroom. <laughs> And then we're gonna go get a snack before lunch. So this is probably gonna cut to me at Burger King. I'm pretty sure almost everything here is unhealthy, so we're just gonna pick one. I'm about to get the large Oreo milkshake from Burger King. It has 970 calories. Hi, can I please get a large Oreo milkshake? Okay, we have the Oreo milkshake, AKA 970 calories in my left hand here, and we're gonna give it a try. This is dangerously good. Okay, I don't wanna get caught in a Burger King parking lot, so we're gonna get moving. Lunch! So Popeye serves a lot of fried chicken, but one of their most unhealthy items is actually not fried chicken. You're about to see what it is. Hi, can I please get a large mac and cheese okay. and a large fries? Okay, the mac and cheese is going to take six minutes, apparently, so I'm probably gonna have to pull around and wait for it. Six minutes for six extra pounds on my thighs. Believe it or not, Popeye's mac and cheese and french fries is 1,650 calories, bringing us to a total of 3,000 960 calories and we're not even done with day one yet. Hi. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, no wonder this is so many calories. This is their large fry. That is a bucket. Okay, we're gonna try the mac and cheese first. Yeah, this definitely tastes like a thousand calories. And I don't think it was worth waiting six minutes. Sitting in the back of my car may not have been the best idea for this. It's getting really hot. Now we're gonna try the french fries. These are really good. I do like these. I'm rating the french fries an eight. I'm rating the mac and cheese a six. I'm at Del Taco. I'm gonna be ordering the queso loaded nachos. $7 for 1,030 calories. I don't know if that's a steal or if this is gonna send me to the hospital. Okay, right here we have Del Taco's queso loaded nachos. These things look like calories in a little bowl. But I'm not gonna lie to you, they look pretty darn good. These nachos are over 1,000 calories, which brings us to a total of 5,000 calories for day one. That is twice the amount that you're supposed to have in a day. I don't know if we're gonna make it to day two. Whew. And that was dinner for day one. I am not feeling good. Last night I called some of my friends to see if they wanted to help me out with day two and they all agreed. And as you guys know, day two is- Banned items. <laughs> You don't want to know what it took for me to get this. Okay, Pearson, so I have this folder and it contains every fast food restaurant's banned items. How did you even get a hold of that? And why are you dressed like this? You don't want to know how I got a hold of this. Okay. And I'm dressed like this because we are going through Starbucks first <gasps> to get the Butterbeer Frappuccino. Can I get the Butterbeer Frappuccino? I'm sorry, what more time? The Butterbeer fra <laughs> butter Frappuccino. Okay. I cannot believe that they have the Butterbeer Frappuccino. She knew exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. Well, literally how? Pearson, are you team Gryffindor or team Hufflepuff? You know, I'm actually a Ravenclaw. Well, I'm team Burson. <laughs> the Butterbeer Frappuccino. Stop talking like that. The Butterbeer Frappuccino. It has a caramel toffee and it's just a cream frappuccino. Oh my god! 
<laughs> What's Wait. happening to me? You're a wizard, Harry! <laughs> what are you rating this? 10 out of 10. I am too. In and out. So In and Out is known for having some of the most popular secret menu items. So today we're gonna be trying animal fries. And we're gonna try them with the hungriest person I know. Also happens to be one of the most annoying people I know. Mr. Jeremy. Oh, and here he is. He flipped me off. I have my little folder here. And we're about to find out what we get to order from In and Out. How did you get that? You don't wanna know. From In and Out. Oh. Bro, what is that? What is that? That's um, that's not what we're ordering. Wait, um, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, is this a secret? It's in the wrong folder. I mean, there's like a trash can over here if you're gonna throw this away. Okay, so Jeremy, from in and out we are gonna be trying to order the animal fries. Ooh. Basically, they're french fries with sauce, onions, and cheese, I think. Can I just get an order of animal fries? Okay, so without hesitation, she said she would give us the animal fries. Dude, we can't tell on her or she'll get fired. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank Bro. you so much. Oh, wow. Really good. Bro, that sauce is good. Oh, Jeremy, just because we're called animal style fries doesn't mean you have to eat them like an oh animal. Oh, my God. No, uh. Jeremy, Jeremy, I knew you were the wrong person to bring here. Well, I was hungry. What are you rating these? I'd rate these an eight. I'm going to give these an eight. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. oh, it's right there. Weird. It's right there. Eat it! Jeremy! So we're at Arby's right now because in this folder, we have Arby's top secret menu item, Meat Mountain. The Meat Mountain. Yes. I think this is a thing. So apparently Arby's banned this item from their menu, so we're going to go and try to order it. They did? Yeah. Why? I mean, look at it. It looks like it would eat you. Huh? I don't think you eat the Meat Mountain and I think the meat mountain eats you. Can I get the meat mountain? Uh, meat mountain? Yes, please. Okay. Whoa. Have you had the meat mountain before? Yeah. Really? I'm scared. The meat mountain. Okay. This bag is so heavy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. It's huge. What? Oh my God. Come on, look at that. There's like seven or eight layers in the sandwich. Take a bite and give me your most accurate rating. Oh my god! I literally took a massive bite and look how much I only ate. What do you think? Honestly, it's not bad. Okay, what do you rate it? One through ten. A seven. Frank gives it seven stars for seven layers of meat. Okay, Dom, are you hungry for dinner? I actually am. Well, Dom, you're in luck because right now we're about to try Wendy's band item, what? the cube. <laughs> what is that? This is literally one pound of meat perfectly formed into squares and stacked into cube form. <laughs> Why did they like say it like that? I don't know. Hi, can I get the cube? We don't have a cube. Oh, I like see. Dumb. He's keeping a secret. Mm. Okay. Oh my, it's heavy. It. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, Dom. <laughs> How are you supposed to even like fit that in your mouth? Dom takes a bite of the cube oh in three, God. two, one. I can't even like, I can't fit it in my mouth. Like I can't take a bite. This is so stupid. Mm, I got like half of it. It's actually... Is it good? Mm -hmm. What do you rate it out of one to 10? I would give it like a six out of 10. Okay. Dom, you're still eating this. I think you like it. Oh. Yeah. After trying all of the banned items, I think it's safe to say that the butterbeer frappuccino is definitely the best one that I tried today. But yeah, thanks for trying the cube. I thought you didn't like the... Hmm? You like the cube? Oh, I'm just not done. Okay. Well, we're done here, so. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. It is day three. I surprisingly don't feel too bad, but I have a feeling that might change today because today is family-sized meals. Why are we wearing this? Well, because we're a family, so we have to dress like parents. Hey, you know? but what's the minivan for? Well, I rented the minivan because that's what families drive. The minivan, we do have a slight problem. Since I'm a mom, I love coupons and discounts, so I bought this minivan half off, which means it doesn't really work. So we have to keep it on at all times or else it doesn't yeah. turn back on. This could be a disaster. Andrew and I will be going to four different drive throughs throughout the day and we're going to be deciding which family size meal your family should buy. Andrew and I are headed to breakfast right now and that is taking place at Jack in the Box. Okay, we have the jumbo breakfast platter right here. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, hash, have hash browns. browns like mini pancakes, mm -hmm. eggs, more hash browns, and bacon. Bacon and sausage. Oh, oh, and the sausage. This is a lot. We're going to put some syrup on the pancakes. Oh, those are a lot. Let's try a mini pancake. Okay, pretty good. Not bad, huh? You guys, there's literally eight mini pancakes in here. <laughs> hash brown down the hash. hash. Ah. So this is only breakfast, Andrew. We still have lunch. 
snack and dinner? Uh, I mean, I, I think I could, but I'm already. Well, we like... know you can. What do you think, Andrew? Should their family order this or no? Definitely. Yeah, I think so too. And it's pretty good. So Andrew and I are headed to lunch now. We're going to KFC to order the Philip box. Okay. Okay, Jack and I help you. Let me get the Philip box. Is that original? Yeah, just original. Gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. We have the Philip box. All right, let's try it. Whoa! Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> the organization of this like makes me want to have kids and start a family. What? So Andrew's in charge of trying the chicken and I'm going to be trying the biscuits and the fries. <laughs> so, okay. um, that's pretty fire. Okay, I'm going to try a biscuit now. Oh wow. What? This tastes like Thanksgiving. Fire. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, Andrew, why did the chicken cross the road? Why, my darling? Because you wanted to get away from KFC. Mm, that one was decent. Not good enough though. Why did the rooster cross the road? Why? Because he heard the chickens at KFC were hot. That was not good. Oh. Yeah, you're definitely a, a dad. You're officially a dad. I honestly would recommend your family getting this. It is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of food. Andrew and I are at Taco Bell right now, and we're about to order the meal for four. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, we have one taco. They gave us one taco and one crunch wrap. <laughs> So the meal for four was supposed to include two crunch wraps, two quesadillas, two chips with nacho cheese, and four soft tacos. And we just looked in our bag. We have one crunch wrap and one taco. If a family of four goes to Taco Bell and tries to order the meal for four, you're gonna starve. Yeah. Okay, Andrew's gonna try the taco. Sorry. And last but not least, the crunch wrap supreme. How's that? No. No, this is actually pretty good. The food itself was good, but I think if you are a family of four and you're trying to get the meal for four, maybe don't buy this. Okay, Andrew and I are at our final destination, which is Kane's. We are about to get the tailgate meal. This can feed up to eight people. Let me do the tailgate of 25. Your total is gonna be $60 and one cent. Is that gonna be car today? Yeah, I need to use the restroom. Would you be able to try it real quick? You can hold it. No, I can't hold it. This is what happens when you eat family-sized meals for the whole day. Oh my God, I can't even fit it through my window. So the Cane's tailgate meal was the most expensive meal that we have bought in the last 100 hours. It was $60 and it took the longest. We're gonna wait for Andrew to be done in the bathroom before we try this. So we might be here for a little while. I have something to tell you. What? I think I want a divorce. <laughs> that was Whoa. gross. Okay, so this comes with a ton of toast, 25 pieces of chicken, lots of french fries, and even more sauce. This is really good. If your family likes canes and they want a lot of food, then definitely get this. Why did the rooster cross the road to raising canes? To get a tailgate meal. No. <laughs> no I'm just kidding, what? <laughs> because he wanted to see a chicken strip. Wow, what a naughty rooster. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andrew, I think it is time to decide which family size meals are worth it. Coming in last, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah. In third place, I'm going to give this one to Jack in the Box. Yeah, it was not enough food. It wasn't that much. In second place, KFC. KFC. Yeah. And in first place, drum roll please. Kane! The tailgate meal definitely took the cake or it took the chicken. Are you serious? <sighs> All right, my 100 hours is officially up. This has been a very interesting and difficult challenge, but thank you for joining me for day three. Of course, Lexi. <laughs> but now that we've been like parents for a day, mm -hmm. like let's start acting like it. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs>